Welcome everybody back to Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. We're in the last part of Tear Lads, we took on Patrick's Rock. And now we gotta do 3, 4, 5, 1 Anchor Way. Alright. You will play as Mr. Krabs. Within 3, 4, 5, 1 Anchor Way. The difficulty for this level will be easy. Jumping is disabled. Do you wish to proceed? Yeah. <laughs> this level's gonna be easy. While Squidward brings SpongeBob and Patrick to their neighborhood to gather their belongings, Mr. Krab is doing the same. He arrives to his home to search for his booty and to ensure that his daughter is safe at home. But upon approaching the front door, he realizes that it's a jar. Someone could steal his money at any moment or worse. Because, yes, money, 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 money. Nestlers are just as quiet as their prowler brother. Hmm, interesting. All right, we're here. Oh God, <laughs> Mr. Krabs' voice is gonna be hard on my throat. Oh, please let me daughter be safe and sound. Alright, before I even touch me money, let me check on me daughter. Hey, dude's got his priorities straight, and before I check on his daughter, before we check on Pearl, I want to see if there are any... Okay, this must be like people who, um, who backed uh, Dave Microwaves and whatnot. That's what it feels like. Because I bet though those are actual people. Wait a second. TV. Ah, uh, I want to check around for secrets just to get them out of the way. Hmm. Money. Ah ha ha ha! Oh, it's his first dollar. Why is there a why is there a candy machine in here? Why is there a vending machine in this house? That's cool, that's cool. I actually remember one time, um, it was during, a f uh, a f uh, the Maple Syrup Festival. It's a festival that we have here that happens in Michigan. And I remember one year going there and someone has, a someone actually had at a garage sale, people had, like a bunch of people come around, so of course they're going to be garage sales. But at one garage sale, I saw like an actual vending machine, like an old vending machine for sale. I think it was like, the guy was selling it for like 250 bucks. And I don't I didn't know if it still worked or not. But I was just like, that would be awesome to have. Cause honestly, there is what's the practicality of having a vending machine in your house? There isn't. It's just awesome. Oh, seriously, there's nothing for these? Those are those are, must be must have been the sweet boots, and there's a jillion right there. Mystery? The seahorse? Okay. Enough looking for secrets. Aw, oh, you slimy son of a bitch. During your escapade, you'll come across foes who are sound asleep. Best to avoid interrupting their sleep, their sheep counting activities by evading environmental hazards that could cause a ruscus if they are stirred from their slumber. May Neptune have mercy on your soul. Fantastic! Wait, what? Oh, I can't- I can't proceed beyond this point. Huh, clever. Invisible wall. Alrighty. Oh, thank Neptune, she saved. Best to give me money, and I think I left it somewhere around here. Is there anything I can interact with in Pearl's room? What the heck is that? Ketamine? Or, I don't know what that's a... I can't pronounce shit. Hmm. I don't know who that YouTuber is. 
Is there anything in her wastebasket? Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, I got. Th oh boy. Where's the art? Where's the rest of me money? Okay, yeah. There is a time limit on this. Run around. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Not good. Okay, so avoid these loose planks. Avoid loose planks. I gotta look out for that jellyant, apparently. I gotta look out for that jellyant, too. I gotta find 18 stacks of cash. Here lies scur scurvy old Omar. He rage quick the doodles. <laughs> no. <sighs> ah! This is squeaky. She's asleep. Ah, screw you, pal. Okay. Six more. Don't you dare, dude. Stacks of cash. And a little Mr. Krabs figure. Okay, I heard like the Krusty Krab theme being played on a pan flute, and then that happened. Don't know if that's supposed to be a creepy poster reference. Oh, thank God, where haven't I checked? I'm missing two steps. Oh. Store. Get down here. <sighs> or anything down here. Seriously? <laughs> so I'm in here. Why do I have this? She's already cloned, I can tell by her eyes. I missed one somewhere. I'm dead. I noticed I noticed I stepped on the squeaky board. <laughs> when Pearl hops out of bed, she causes a certain floorboard to jut out. Keep an eye on I touched one. Well, that means that... Where does this restart? This restarts with money. Cool! I don't know if there was a no death thing for this level or not. But I do know... That I get another chance. So all the money is gonna be... In the exact same spots. I'm guessing... Yep. God, that's that does not sound good. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Oh no. Where is she? She was right 
behind me. She was right behind me. Captain's court. Get out of her sight. Okay. God. Some close calls here tonight, boys. Boyos. Okay, what the fuck? The fuck? Okay, maybe the money does move. Pearl, clone Pearl, sweet mother Pearl. So I got four pieces of cash to get. Sadly, I highly doubt they're all gonna be up here. Pretty sure I don't gotta. Nope, don't gotta retap secrets again. But I do. And the last two are going to be down in the cellar. Thank God. I actually might be able to get this within the time limit. Okay. Don't touch the board. Get down. Get over here. I swear. If she was in the cellar, I would have, I would have uh, shit my pants. Woohoo! Alright. I'm going to grab you. Alrighty. Now to grab me super oven from me basement and be prepared. Uh, forced into a corner with no way out, armed with a mayo minigun. You can hold left mouse button that'll fire a never ending barrage of mayo pellets at any enemy in front of you. No ammo, no cooldown, no problem. Just make, make sure to watch your six. In other words, I gotta be brave. Because that kind of spoils the ending. Aft cabin. Okay. <laughs> also brutal, because that's Mr. Krabs' daughter. Technically a clone, but still. Nothing no father should have to go through. Oh, was I supposed to put that berry doll, like, somewhere amongst the... Oh, okay. And that's how I get the goober token. The money. And a picture of his daughter. Literally, just like, that moment of Mr. Krabs just looking down, like, looking like he dropped the male minigun. It's just like, yeah. He, in a, in a sense, he had to shoot his own daughter. And yeah, he leaves the money behind, because even... Even to him, his daughter was worth more to, his, to him than his money. Which is actually not off-character for Mr. Krabs. Because, and I made the time trial, too. Oh my god, and all I needed to do was get the Goober coin! Which I, fi which I kind of figured out. I think I have to put that Barry doll somewhere amongst the other, like, character dolls that were in the... I did not realize that until now. But yeah, it, it's not really off-character for Mr. Krabs to care more about his daughter than money. Cons considering that, like, Pearl's debut episode was literally her putting her new, like, hip new cool ideas uh, in for the Krusty Krab. And, like, even though Mr. Krab, like, hates every bit of it, he's doing it for the love of his daughter. And, but it, it also turns out, like, Pearl wants Mr. Krabs to uh, criticize her and kind of put Spongebob in a middle position. I remember in the end, like, yeah, Mr. Krabs criticizes her and she's like, yeah, okay. Like, she acts upset and then, like, in the end, everybody's happy. Alright, so we got a couple new levels. Bargain Mart and Tentacle Acres, which we'll do in the next part of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. So I hope you all enjoyed and... Uh, I hope you'll all come back next time as we tackle on either the Bargain Mart or Tentacle Lakers. Until then, everybody.